Good morning. So uh, I had a few questions on the lab for today uh, for biology. And so if you click the link to this WOW lab, we are, if you look to the left hand side of the screen, about halfway down is the comparing hominid skulls. How are modern humans similar to and different from chimps, australopithecines, and other hominids or hominoids? So I'm going to go ahead and click that one. You are an amateur Ooh. fossil hunter on a paleontological dig. You discover a fossil skull. Picture. Explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. Okay, so you must click on each item in the Ooh. checklist. So now I am going to go ahead and uh, start the lab. So here I'm looking at the words. It says, explore the lab to learn what is available for your investigation. You must click on an, each item in the checklist. Once you're ready to move on, click procedure. Okay, so then if I go to the classwork tab, in the classwork tab is your worksheet that goes along with it. Remember, you need to click file and then make a copy for your own that you can edit. But here's mine, okay, comparing the skulls. So I'm gonna go down to the first procedure, which is the first blank. Keep going here. So the problem is literally what she stated out loud. It shows me my, where I'm at. See, notice the pictures match up. So my pictures now match up. So step one, predict the species of your fossil. Give your reasoning. You must do this in the lab notebook. Please note the si online simulation will require you to write something into the lab notebook. Since we do not, uh, since we do not account, we cannot save our work. So uh, instead, you will do your lab notebook data input and then answers to the question on this worksheet. So you have to do it in both the lab notebook and on your worksheet, unfortunately, to move on. So I'm gonna click on each one just to make sure. My, notice every time I click on something, like here's the skulls, it put a check mark. I clicked on the caliper, it put a check mark. And then the formula, I click on it, puts a check mark. Now it says click on procedure. So I come up here, I click procedure. And then it says open the lab notebook and record your prediction about the species of your fossil skulls. So with, without putting your arrow on them, right, maybe you can look and just kind of make a quick prediction. Like, I think this one's chimpanzee. Uh, I'm going to say this one is maybe, uh, I don't know. I know this one's human because we got a really rounded skull. Uh, this is pretty close to human, so I'm not going to say, I'm going to say this is maybe the gorilla, something like that. So I come here in the lab notebook, and I'm going to put chimpanzee or gorilla. Chimp slash gorilla. I'm going to come down here and do the same thing down here in my worksheet, chimp plus gorilla. Okay. I'm going to scroll down. It says drag a skull. Okay, so step, so here I'm on step two now. Here I'm on step one of six. So I'm going to start my procedure, drag a skull, and notice this, this literally uh, matches up both both procedures. So drag a skull to the workbench, use the calipers to measure the distance A to C, click the skull position caliper arm, drag caliper arm 2 to complete your measurement, use the calipers to measure distance B to C, so forth, so on. Okay, so I scroll down here, notice that it shows the moved caliper and it's measuring from A to C. So here I've actually got it uh, labeled for you. So I drag the first skull, all right, so I'm actually, which actually tells me modern chimpanzee. So I'm going to click on the caliper, and I actually drag the caliper. Oh, come on now. Drag the skull to the workbench. Now, come on. being slow this morning. Good grief. There we go. So I'm going to be measuring point C, no, A to B, right? That's my first measurement here. A to B. So I'm going to line it up as exact as possible. I'm going to move my caliper to where it lines up with the A. And I notice here that it is three. So here I'm going to put three 
okay? And remember, you got to do it at the same time in your lab notebook. So I'm going to put three and then three, right? And then it says measure from A to C. So I'm going to move my caliper again to C. Drag this all the way to A. And I'm at 6.18. Kind of put it in my data here. So I'm in the data tab, 6.18. Oops, wrong one, isn't it? 6.18. Now you do not have to do this form of magnum one. You can actually delete that column if you'd like. But I'm gonna continue taking these measurements so I'm going to fill this out as if I'm doing it, right? Four, three. And each skull you drag and drop. So the face is actually a description. The canines are a description. You do not have to do the form of magnum. So, I mean, at this point, you got to fill it in to move on, right? So um, form and magnum is actually where our skull attaches to our uh, neck. All right, so I'm just filling these in. These will not be correct. I'm just doing it for to move on with the lab so I can show you. Okay, short, large, of skull. Oop, that should be a description, shouldn't it? Let me fix that. Uh, so... Homo sapiens have long faces. Well, I'd even say short compared to the chimpanzee. Canines are small. And then the fossil skull at the end. Okay, so then I notice that says fossil skull and this says your fossil skull. Let me fix that. So that's in the data table, right, that I, I did. And remember to do A to B as your forehead, right? So it's moving that up. And you're going to drag and drop and do that for each skull, right? Then we can move on. So then it says, observe the skull from the top view, open the lab notebook and describe the shape of the brain case, make the same observations for the four skulls. And I already kind of did that because of the form of magnum. Nope, wrong direction. Form of magnum, we're looking right here. See, it says form of magnum. So like this, this is where your form of magnum is. Um, on each one. And so you can kind of compare by the pointing the arrow up the difference in the form and magnum where your your skull attaches to your neck. And then you can see the difference between each one. Okay, so that is part technically step 3 here. And then um, step four, so let me make sure I have all my data here. Does it want me to do the conclusion yet? I don't think so. Yeah, 
All right. So then I'm moving on to step four. Drag the skull to the workbench. Observe the skull from the side view. Open the lab notebook and describe the forehead. Face canine teeth. Describe the forehead with stem above the eyes. So forth, so on. And I've kind of already done that with measurements. But I can do it for each one. Oh, I forgot. I got a drag and drop, don't I? We did that with the measurements. So you can either do the observation there, like I said. The canines, like you notice the difference in the canine teeth. If you want to do measurements, you can. Come on. Boy, this caliper today does not want to work. But otherwise, just describe the difference in the canines. Like this one has no canines. Look, I mean, it does, but they are tiny. They're tiny even when you compare it to ours. So... Okay. These guys have medium canines. So then I go back to the lab notebook. Put it input whatever I need to. We kind of jumped ahead already. All right. And then, so I've done that. And we are done. You can go on to step five. And six, but I do not require it. I had you stop there. So long as this, this is filled out, this chart is filled out correctly, not with my made up numbers, right? Uh, and you look and do all four parts, then of course you can submit it on Google Classroom. Email me if you still have questions or concerns.